Welcome to our Omud Yomishir. Welcome to everybody here in Avat Shalom. Welcome to everybody on YouTube and on Torah anytime. We are continuing Meseches Kiddushin. Today's Omud is Zayin Omud Aleph. However, we are still in the Vav Omud base right now. Omar Rov, it is Shuz Lunishmas Chaim Ben Yitzchok. I'm sorry. Chaim Ben Yitzchok, Lunishmas Reb Chaim Ben Yitzchok. Yeah, and uh, my father, Reb Menachem Ben Akiva. Rus Bas Shalom, Sol Bas Moishe. Obviously, needless to say, for that tzlocho of all the soldiers, Hashuvim went yesterday into Gaza. May Mashiach come so soon, they don't have to fight anymore. Just complete Geula straight away. And for the refu of all the wounded, Ilunishmas, all the Ptsuim, and may the old uh, missing people come home. Omar Rove, we're now going to learn about a concept called Matono Almenas Lehachzir. What happens if a person gives his friend a gift? He says you can use a gift for a limited amount of time, but then the condition of the gift, it's in condition that you give it back to me. In other words, it's not called lending. Lending means that it's mine the entire time, mine the owner. But Thomas Lachzi means that temporarily it belongs to the receiver, the recipient of the matono. And then there's a condition that eventually has to give it back to the to the land, not to the lender, to the original owner. When do we do such a thing? Sometimes not not so common nowadays. What time of year do people sometimes do that? But that's right. By the Dalit Minim and Sukkot today, Baruch Hashem, most people have their Dalit Minim. I spoke to a guy who works with me in the afternoon. He told me that in South Africa, they didn't have Dalit Minim when it was Corona. So uh, so they did like the, in the shtetl. The, the Rav had the Dalit Minim or a few uh, lucky people. And they gave everyone because by Esrog, you can't lend it. It has to be owned by the one who takes it, right? So they did, uh, that's what they did. So let's see what the status of this. If a person says the following, here is a money for you. In condition, you give it back to me. Give me back the money. Yeah, <coughs> Maybe he wants the actual money itself back. Maybe a different money. But he wants the money back as a condition. Yeah, this is not called real giving. It's not called giving money. Let's say a piece of land, right? A piece of land, yeah? If, says Rashi, if you give a piece of land for X amount of money, and then you, you expect the money back, you didn't really give him money, because you know that the money will be back by the original person. That's why people are smiling here. It's not a real giving of money. It's giving the money, expecting it back. It's not called giving. Now, by Isha, ain't a Mekodeshes, by a woman. She's not Mekodeshes. You gave the woman a rat Mekodeshes leave at a bad zoo. Please give me back the ring. What kind of start of a marriage is that? And it's not called Nesina. It has to be Nesina. The same thing as Karka. We prepare what a woman to Karka. She's not, she's not being acquired. But Pidyan Ben, ain't B'noi Podu. Let's you give the Kohen five sloim. You're supposed to give the Kohen five sloim, and you get back your son, so to speak, or the Kedusha is redeemed from your son, then what do we say? The son is not Podri, because re you really didn't give anything to the coin. It's not a, 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 a symbolic act of giving. It has to be real giving, that the coin now got something in his hand. Since at the end of the day, there's a condition in the giving, the coin's supposed to give it back to you, that's not called real giving. So the ch the child, your firstborn son, is not Podri, is not redeemed. The Truma, oh, Truma all of a sudden is different. Let's say you gave the truma to the coin. What's truma? A bunch of grapes, yeah? You had, let's say, I don't know, X amount of grapes. You gave one fiftieth or one sixtieth or one fortieth, whatever, one fiftieth, let's say. Then what? You give it to the coin and say, I expect those grapes to come back to me. So then all of a sudden, Yotze de Nesina, interesting. Surprisingly, it's considered like Nesina, and yes, you yoitze de choivas ha truma, and says Rashi, what's an afkamina? When the coin gives you back the bunch of grapes, the clusters of grapes, they are, yeah, you can now, you own them. They're called truma, you own them, and you can now sell them to other koyanim for money. Just the symbolic thing of giving the coin the grapes means that you are yoitze the truma, which means now you can eat all the rest. Now the kri, the rest of the kri is now edible, right? You, you kosherize the rest. That's what, part of the idea of truma. And the cluster of grapes he gave back to you belongs to you now, because he got back to you. And now it's truma that belongs to Israel. <laughs> what can Israel do with the truma? It's holy. You can't eat it. You eat it, you die. 
Yeah, be day shamayim. You give it to other koanim for money. Interesting. The also last skin. However, you're not allowed to do that. Why aren't you allowed to do that? Because there's a very harsh concept called it looks as if the coin is helping you with your work in the granary, and that is forbidden. Let me explain. The reason why Koyhanim are not supposed to do such a thing of take the trum and give it back to the master, Koyhanim are not allowed to have nice working relationship with the people who give them truma. When you give truma, that me that's supposed to be interest free. Or, in other words, Tuma is supposed to be, how do you call it in a Mutai in English? Uh, new, uh, profit, non profit, non profit. Yeah, exactly. The whole idea of Tuma is give from your Tuma to the coin and don't get anything in return. <laughs> if I give Tzedakah to the Oni and return, I tell him, okay, uh, I, tell, I give a taxi driver who's not doing so well, I'm giving you my Meister girl to 50 shekel and take me from here to big. That's not called giving the Meister. I got something in return. And that's why it says very strong things against Kohanim. And it says if they did that, the Chalulu, the 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 I'm not saying the Chalolim, but they're desecrating the name of the the good name of the tribe, Shichat and Brisa Levi. You're destroying the covenant of the Levim. If you and sometimes in Zansa direct, you know, you prefer a certain coin, it works for you. Yeah, let's say I have a coin with your worker, and you prefer giving the Tuma to him, then it's an interest over you. It's not really called non-profit, yeah. And therefore, because over here. You give the coin, the coin gives it back to you. It's not completely, even if you yoitz truma, it's not completely non profitable. It is profitable for you because you're getting back the truma, you, the, the, the owner, the giver. Therefore, you're not allowed to do that. Like the Gemore, Michael Sovarovi. But we still saw there's an exception to the rule. Which one? Truma. What does Rob think? Now, there are two ways out to look at Matonam Las Lachzir. Matonam Las Lachzir, Shmo Matono. You can say Matonam Las Lachzir is a Matono. The fact that later on you have to give it back, it's a condition, but enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah, yeah. Even when you borrow something, you enjoy it. You can say, okay, it's a different take on borrowing. It's a matono. I'm giving you my, uh, my gemara. I'm giving you real matono, my gemara. It's now considered yours. You can tell everyone, this is my new gemara, not a liar. There's a condition. You have to now give it back to me or sometimes give it to another person after you finish using it. It's yours for a while. Maybe you can call it matono. Okay, I can hear that. If so, I feel a kulunami. So all other cases, not just truma, kalka, isha, everything, pidi and ben, they should all be good. I gave the woman the ring. Here's a ring. She can show all her friends and you know take photos and give it to ten million people to to watch, and then she'll give him back the ring. Okay. If so, wh- why isn't it kedushin? The ikas of loishma matono. And if he thinks that matono is just fake, <laughs> it's not matono. It's basically lending because something that's yours is so limited. It's yours for a while, and it's preconditioned. You have to give it back. It's not called matono. I feel truma namiloi. If so, then truma shouldn't be uh, helpful either. Why do you say truma? You're allowed to do it. It's a truma, but there's like a side reason why not to, because according to Messiah, it's not called truma at all. If you get the corn cluster of grapes, which you can't touch, because he has to give you back the very same cluster of grapes, then what's going on? It's not truma. Yeah? And the oid. And another question. Now, a real, a real punchy question. A Rove Huda Omar, Rove himself is the one who said in different places in Shas, Matono al Manas Lachzir, Shmo Matono. Rove himself says clearly, we don't have a question anymore, that Matono al Manas Lachzir is called a Matono. Yeah, it's a Matono for a while. He doesn't view that as borrowing. It's a Matono with a limitation, strong limitation, big limitation, but it's still, while you use it, it's called temporarily yours. It's a real Matono. The Omarove, and here is what Zvi and other people here were saying before. If a person tells his friend, yeah, here's your esrog, here's my esrog, and it's yours on condition that you give it back to me in the toloi. He took the esrog and he shook the lot. Obviously, it's not just esrog, yeah. Esrog and lulav, and he shook the lulav and esrog, yeah, as we do on sukkas, gave it back to the original owner, Yotza. Oh, so if he really gave it back to him and fulfilled the condition, then he was Yoitze the mitzvah. Because while the Esrog was in his domain, it's called completely his. The future is a different story. The fact he has to give it back doesn't impede on the fact, doesn't affect the idea that the Esrog is now his while he took it. As long as he fulfilled the condition of giving it back to the original owner. Why? Because the Imlav, lo Yotze. 
However, if the person got smart with the, who's the person, the second one, the recipient took the esrog and the lulav and <laughs> didn't give their deck to the original one, he says, no, I'm keeping it, ha, 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 ha. Then he wasn't yoitze the mitzvah. Why not? Because now, <laughs> Lemafrei wasn't yoitze. Because he broke the condition. So it's not, it's, it's a gazlin, it's not his. The Why? condition, no, no, no. But the condition was, it's only yours if you give it back. But if it's not, it's not even gazelle, you don't have to come out to that. But if you, if you don't give it back, then retrospectively it was never yours. It was yours all the time in condition to something will happen in the future, like baguette. Even get, Sefer Christus, right? If it tells you this is your get, as long as one week you're not going to your father. Then after one week, retroactively, the get is a get. If she went to her father in the fifth day, let's say it's not a get. A lot of things work retroactively in Aloha. That's, that's not such a chiddush, actually. I see many other chiddushim here. Now this, in other words, if you did not fulfill the condition, it's yours and condition. You give it back to me at 9.45 in the morning, Kalamoid. If you didn't, 9.45, the Esrog wasn't back in the original address, then the Esrog was never yours, Mr. Recipient. So you're not Yoitze. You can not, not make him what? Lochem. 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 Beyond Marishan. Three outside of a couple of more. It's a post like everybody knows. It's not Lochem. Give me a second, please. Let's just get to the answer. So the kids say, Robert doesn't make sense. Lechoyro. Here, Robert is the one who says that you're not Yoitze, not Yoitze. It's, you're not going to the field, and not the woman, and not the Pidin event. Rava says that when it comes to Esrog, and in general, Matona Asmachzir is called a Matona. You can ask the Svaris, I told you, I didn't see much of the Svaris here, but Rava is openly contradicting himself. Elo Marove. Elo Maravashi, excuse me. Therefore, Ravashi is now, seems to be arguing on Rava, but then we'll see that he's not. Ravashi says, Bekulukani. In all cases, Pidyan Aben, and Truma, and Kalka, Matona Manaslachzir is a good Matona, and you're coin it. You coin the field, you coin everything. Why? You gave money for the field. By the way, let me just explain something. We're not talking here about a field that's worth $10 million and you gave the $10 million and then you took them back. No. There's the, even Kenyan Kessler, sometimes you know, it's written in the Noise Kenyan and Shulchan Aruch, is a symbolic thing. In other words, let's say, and we had that before in the Gemara even, it's much from the Gemara. I'm buying from you a $10 million building, okay, that's quite common, yeah? And what? And it gave you $100. Those $100 could be the first payment, which symbolizes the fact that I have one foot through the door, right? So now those $100 are anyhow not the real worth. The Kenyan shows that one installment shows that I'm already the owner, and all the rest are coming through. It's not really the value of the building. It's like a no the Sinas Kesef. Oh, if so, if you said that giving money is okay, even if someone asks Lachzir, it would work. But I feel what's going to happen? I'll get back the $100, yeah, the one who buys the field, and later I'll pay $10 million. But Lamai said the giving the money was given. Money was given. It's good enough. He has money for a while. He can show his friend the money. It's called his money. Later on, he'll give him back the money. Lomishane, it's fine. It's called giving money. And the same thing for everything else, except for a woman. Lebarmi Isha, only a woman. Women are always different. Warren Chavez says, yeah, Noshim Amachrina. Noshim are a different nation from us, yeah. Different kind of creatures, yeah. Lebar meisha, a woman is not nikna bekesef al menas laachzir. Farvos nisht lefish en isha niknes bechalipin, because the woman is not acquired with chalipin. We saw before in Dafet in Gimel and Mudalef that a woman is not nikna bechalipin. Well, this is not chalipin. So let's 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 slowly, nice and slow, explain what's going on here. We said that the, one of the Kinyonim women is not Nikne, is Khalifin. Although a woman's Kinyan is learned from the Sode of Avram, who bought a, a graveyard for Sorrow, right? However, Khalifin, a field is Nikne by Khalifin, but a woman is not Nikne by Khalifin. What's Khalifin? I'm sorry for the word, it's a symbolic Kinyan. What happens in the book of Ruth? Are you familiar with the book of Ruth? Ruth? Or maybe Ruth? Enal, Vishla, Vishnaloi, the two Keshu. And the shoe was given in lieu of the field. I, the field is worth much, uh, much more money than the shoe. That's a symbolic thing. Like you do it when you when you do Kenyan uh, Suda or by a vort. You pick up someone's kippah or someone's uh, pen. It's just a symbolic thing, right? And you give it back to him. So by Kenyan Chlipin, many times it's just a symbolic thing. I take off my shoe. I give it to the owner of the field. And in most cases, in most cases, he'll give me back my shoe. The mere act of giving my shoe taking off my shoe and giving it to the guy, the owner of the field, shows I did something, an act of giving, showing that I'm switching and swapping my shoe for the field. 
obviously in many cases I'll get my field my, my shoe back now. Oh, so maton al manas lehachzir and chalipin are scaringly similar. They're not the same at all, but they look similar. Now let's pause for a second. Why is the woman not nikne bechalipin? Because it's degrading. We're only to women's lib. In other words, we don't want to degrade a woman because a chalipin means what? Chalipin may potentially sometimes be nikne even with an item that's less than shava pruta. Let's say you have a Chinese toy from a votu banim. By the time we go from shul to my house, which is like five meters, the toy is already broken usually or just discovered to be dysfunctional, right? Those toys made in China toys. As long as it's an intact kind of clean, you can use it for chalipin. Oh, chalipin can be done with an item, an object that's less than shava pruta. So a woman would never want to be makna herself for less than shava pruta. So even if you give her a beautiful diamond ring worth a million dollars, well, a million bracelet, I don't know. Still, chalipin conceptually is something that's degrading. Oh, now let's tie all the loose ends. Matona manas lachzir is matona. But when you see under the hoopah that the chosen gives the color ring and they were whispering something over there, you didn't really hear what they were saying. You're too excited, yeah? And what? And then she gives back the ring, she gives the ring back to him, and they still seem to be happy. It's not like she refused it yet. They may be whispering between themselves, what? What do they think? But almost lachzir. And that should have been okay. But to you, it looks like clipping because a Kenyan that's very commonly done in such a way. Of like, 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 like do it every year, but by 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 chomet. You do it by vort. You do it by all kinds of situations. So that business of hmm, 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 usually is interpreted as chalipin, and that's what people are going to think that she's nik. Or they may come to either they think so, or according to Toysis, they may come to do chalipin because they don't know the difference between matanz machzir and chalipin. So because you're so scared of degrading the woman without chalipin, right? That doesn't work. For Kiddushin, we also forbade, we also ostracized the Kinyan of Matol Manas Lachzir because of its outwardly exterior similarity to Chalipin. Chalipin is a big bad wolf. Mimela don't do Matol Manas Lachzir because it's similar to Chalipin. But otherwise, it would have worked if not for that Gezeira. Wait, 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 you're being very patient. So now, up until now, Rova seems to be contradicting himself. Stuck and Ravashi argued. Comes Ravuna and uh, and he told Ravashi, Oh, we also heard that Rava himself said the same thing. Kavosich, what's Kavosich? Like you, like you. In other words, you're not arguing with Rava. Mazel tov, everyone's one big happy family. Rava, what we said on the name on behalf of Rava was wrong. What Rava really said was exactly like Ravashi. That Chalipin, leave Chalipin alone now. Let's start with Matol Maslach Zir. Rava believes is amazing, terrific, and good. As Rava always said, like he said by, by, by Sukkot, by, by Esrog. That's good. Matol Maslach Zir, amazing, real Matono. And Rava also himself said, like Ravashi, that the only exception to the rule is not Truma. We just a sad mistake in the text. No Truma. What Rava really said was the exception to the rule was a woman. Why a woman? Because it's similar to Chalipin. Matol Maslach Zir looks like, feels like, and smells like Chalipin. And Chalipin is the Kenyan which we're not interested in Kiddushin, therefore we exit it, therefore we annulled it, and it ain't going to work. So, yeah, the Hasana, she should receive the, the, the ring, make sure she keeps it. She's not supposed to give it back to him. And Thank you for uh, the, the reminder, I would say. La Mascono, Truma, like everything else, when it comes to Truma, if you give the coin a truma in order to get it back, it should be a good truma because matono maslach is shema matono. However, we did not change our minds that it's a problem of coin mesebe besagronois. And when I tell you something now, although the Gemara does not say it about Pidyon Aben, when my first, when my uh, firstborn was born, and we did a very nice Pidyon Aben in a very holy city of Tel Aviv, there was a Pidyon Aben. And uh, then there was a Kohen, a uh, Talmud Chochem guy, and he, a uh, Ger Chosid, and I told him, can you give back the coins and I'll give you something instead, whatever. Now there was miserly, but it was the coins of my father-in-law, the whole story. So then he said, I could, but it's a problem with Kohen Mesev Vesagronis. He said, if you don't, I don't mind giving you back the, the, the coins, but then there would be an issue of uh, Kohen Mesev That's what the Psak that he heard. So the coins stayed with him, and I'm very happy. And my son is, Baruch Hashem, our son. Yeah, fine. Baruch Hashem.
So that's our story about Koen the Messiah. Weiter. Ah, yeah, okay, more questions? Yes, yes, yes. And then we continue. Thank you. Well, the questions make the, you bring the best out of me, I hope. <laughs> I'm not feeling well today. Again, so the issue is like this. You always have to specify what kind of kinyan you're using. You can't do a kinyan if you're in a ma'aretz. You have to be guided by a rov. In other words, the same kinyan of boom, boom, taking and bringing and this can be either chlipin or maton maslachsir. You have to know what you're doing. Because sometimes it has some kinyan work for certain uh, things, items, and some kinyan for other things. You have to know what you're doing. And you have to spay. You have to mouth it and say it. That's right. And Khanami. By a woman, let's say, from a Tolman Slahzir, could be Tsakshash Kidushin Bid Yevid. Right? We don't do that Lakhathila because of Khlipin, but maybe I'm, I'm thinking, maybe because we're very machmi in, in Kiddushin. Let's continue. Yeah. Because it's because of Khan Messiah, because it looks as if you are uh, making this uh, excuse my language like a dirty business kilo with a coin, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to let him have it, regardless, without him giving anything in return. Omar Rove, uh, I always apologize that to the viewers online that this is not so clear. There's Rochel. Let's say Reuven in the story is always the Chosen. Rochel and Reuven want to get married. Yes, he's the one. He's the one. And Shimon is a third person in the party, was also instrumental for Kiddushin. We're going to see two cases, yeah, of Rochel mar getting married to Reuven. However, Shimon is involved in the Maisek Kiddushin. Another man is involved in the Maisek Kiddushin. Of course, he's not her husband. You can't have two husbands. But soon we're going to see how it works when, in both cases, there is no direct giving from the man to the woman. Classical Kiddushin, as we all know, the man gives the woman the ring, the money, the whatever, the kesef. Here, there is money given or taken by another man, and still it works. Bam, 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 bam. Let's see. Omarove. Ten, says the woman. This is Kilo, we're quoting the woman verbatim. Says the woman, let's call her Rachel. Ten money leploini, v'kadesh ani lecho. Rachel tells Reuven, listen, Reuven, see Shimon, let's see Shimon as her first cousin, and she, you know, likes him as a cousin, that's all. And she says, you know, give money to Shimon, not to me. Give money to Shimon, okay? And I'll be yours. I'll be your wife. Yeah? And then he gives the money to Shimon, and he says to Rochel, Hareat mikudeshes li, the kesef that I gave Shimon. He gives Shimon the money, yeah, the, by the consent, not by the request of Rochel. That's what, he does it to me, says Rochel. If you give the money to Shimon, not to me, I don't need the money. I just, I don't need the money. I don't need the ring. I want Shimon to have the money. And if you give him the money, but of course he has to, she's not saying the Ariat Yeah, that we nixed completely. Reuben has to tell Rachel at the time of giving the, the money or the ring to Shimon, by giving the money to Shimon, Ariat Mukudesh Asli, the Kesef Shenusati Le Shimon. Yeah? Now, how does that work? She didn't get anything. Shimon is the one, and Shimon is not giving her the money. Shimon stays with the money for life. Yeah? How does that work? The Rochel became the wife of Reuven, although Shimon is the one who got the money. Or, by the way, Shimon can also be Prince Abela, or any man or woman. Mekudesh is Medin Orev. She's Mekudesh, but the Din of Orev, at the very, very end of Avasra, we saw the Din of Orev. What's an Orev in nice English? Guarantor? How does a guarantor work? <laughs> a guarantor did not receive anything. Guarantor is a nice guy. Guarantor is a very, very nice guy. Right? Yeah, you lend money to my friend and I'm stepping up instead of my friend who owes money, I'll pay instead of my friend. And I'm really mechuyev alachikli. We learn aura from different places in the Torah. Yehuda was aura to Yaakov, right? About uh, the brothers, but Binyamin. Midin Orev, Orev, elaborate Sigmore. Orev, lav afal gav, de lo mati hano lo yodei kemishabed nafshe. And Orev, although no hano mati did not come to his hands, he's mishabed himself, which means he is now committed. His Meshubad is subjugated, his Meshubad, although received nothing. Hi, it's Tsunami, this woman too, Rochel in the story, also, yeah, although she did not receive anything, she decides that's what makes me feel good. And halachically, we endorse that because we see it by Orev. That's case number one. Reuven gave Shimon, Rochel received nothing. Rochel received nothing, and yet she is the one who initiated it, says the Gemara. 
I'm happy for Ruth Shima to have it. And therefore, Halacha says, yeah, it's, she's right. Even though that Hano is not real Hano, there is no Hano here. We saw a person can give you something, create the Chiyuv. Yeah, the, 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 the Malve will knock on the door of the Orev and force him through Bezin, give me back the money. What do you mean back the money? You never got the money. That's Orev. That's a Chiddush. You're supposed to give something, although you got nothing. Absolute tzaddik. So, so too, she's a tzaddikus. She's saying, for me, it's good to give Shimon, my needy cousin, a stomach. making could be any other case, yeah? Give it to whichever, yeah, in order for me to get married to you, be your wife. That's case number one. Case number two. Heilach Mone. Now Reuven is the one initiating the story. Heilach Mone. Biskanchi la loini. Yeah? Says Shimon, I'm giving you the money. Rocho, says Shimon. I'm giving you the money, yeah, and this, yeah, the, the dotted line is the Nisuin. Shimon says to Rochel, yeah, Array, the money, I'm giving you the money, and with this money, you want to be Mekadish to Reuven. Who Reuven, my friend, he has no money, doesn't have a ring. I'm giving you my ring, yeah, and then Reuven has to say, Haret Mukudesh Asli, with the ring that you got from Shimon. So you see what's happening over here? In a regular case, Reuven should give the ring to Rochel. Here, Reuven gave it to Shimon, and here, Shimon gave it to Rochel. Yeah? In other words, here, Rochel did not receive anything, and here, Reuven did not give anything. Yeah? Here, she did not receive. That's a red herring. And here, Reuven did not give, but Shimon gave instead of him. That is actually much simpler. The Odeg Moritz gave a halachic source. Basically, yeah, not a nice example, but let's say you and I go to the ice cream store, and you happen to be, you know, without your credit card and without your cash, and I'm paying for you, I'll be large with you for a change. I'm buying for me and for you, which flavor? Yeah, chocolate for me, vanilla for you. I'm, I'm paying for ice cream. So therefore, Shimon is giving Rachel the money while they decided that the, 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 ben the one benefiting will be Reuven, will be the husband. Reuven has to say the text, the Ret Mukudesh, I assume. Reuven says, the Ret Mukudesh is the... Yali, with the money you received from Shimon. Who says that works? It's all very nice in the ice cream store. But have we seen this? Did we see a source for that in Halacha? Says the Gemara, yes. What happens with an Eved Knaini? Eved Knaini, who's the one who's paying for the Eved Knaini's freedom? A nice Jewish man. Eved Knaini can never redeem himself because Eved Knaini has no money. Yeah, does that rhyme nicely? Eved Knaini has no money. Masha'en can, if he wants to be free, which is a question if you're allowed to free, to liberate him or not leave that alone. But let's say you're a nice Jewish man, you work uh, to free the slaves. So what do you do? You give money, the $2 million that the slave is worth, you give to the master, and who's becoming free? The slave, not you. So you see, you can pay for something just like Shimon over here gave money and got nothing. Who's the one who got the, the woman? Reuven. So now you see by Ebed Knaini, Laba for Gabdelok, Chosa, Veloy Midi, the Evid Knani did not loichosal, did not is not missing any money, and yet he acquired himself and his freedom. I Ranami, so Reuven in her story, midi. Reuven is not missing anything from his pocket. Yeah, he's not, he did not touch his pocket at all. Kakani Lola and yet he acquired that woman. Now we're gonna have something, yeah. So we explain it, I think, well enough. Here. Reuven, Reuven gave Shimon, he, Rochel, did not receive, and here, Reuven did not give. And in both cases, it works. That's because of Orev, and that's because of Evid Knaini. Now, look at something cool. What happens now, a real quick, a real crazy case, look at the next case. Ten mona leploini, v'akadishani loi. Wow. <laughs> now, look at that. The third case is, yeah, one second. Yeah, that's a top case. Yeah. Ten money leploini. Rocha says to Shimon, give money to Reuven and I'll be his wife. <laughs> wow. Get that? We're combining both cases. Rocha told Shimon, Shimon, give money to Reuven. Reuven receives money. And then I, Rocha, will be Reuven's wife. If you if you listen carefully to both cases, it's a combination of both cases together. This is a combination of the two cases. A and B is now C. Let's see how it works. Ten monoleploini, vakadish and iloi. 
give money to my fiancé, to my beloved, and I'll be his wife. Shimon, give money to Reuven, I'll be Reuven's wife. Mekudeshes midin shneim. She's Mekudeshes because of a combination of Orev and Eved Knaini. <laughs> There's no giving and no receiving. She did not receive, and Reuven didn't give. None. She didn't receive or obviously give, and Reuven only received money from Shimon, and yes, she's Mekudeshes. Why? Look at that. Orev. Now let's combine everything together. One big happy family. The whole symphony together. Orev. In the case of Orev. And Orev, although the Orev, the guarantor, did not receive anything, <laughs> he didn't get anything except for a headache. <laughs> and yet he's subjugating himself, committing himself to pay the lender when the time comes, if the other guy fails or something without. Hai that woman too. So your first problem in this case, Rochel, where are you, Rochel? Did you receive anything? No, I'm a tzedekis, I'm Rochel Imenu. I don't need any money. I committed myself, even though I did not receive anything. Okay, I'm like an Orev. Freg the Gemara, not, not really fragging. The Gemara is now building it up. Wait, wait, wait. Are you comparing you to an Orev? It's not like an Orev. Me, Dami, it's not the same. Me, Dami, Orev, hi, the Kakani lay. And Orev, at the end of the day, yeah, the one who received it, who got something, he is missing money, right? In the case of an Orev, at the end of the day, the one who is mechaev himself, he gave money and he committed himself. Hey, that's unfair. Reuven, okay, I understand what Rochel is like an Orev, but it's wrong. Reuven, he did not give anything. Parasite. Parasite. Reuven did not give anything. You received a nice golden ring, and then we haven't seen by an Orev. We haven't seen by an Orev such a mechanism that the guy received, and he's, he's and he's, and he received something without 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 giving any money, right? Over there, the Orev gave money. The Orev is a man. He Reuven did not. Yeah, he's getting the wife without spending a dime. That we haven't seen. Ah, that's your problem. No, no, no. Now we go to the other side to Eved Knaini. I, Evid Knani Yochiach, Evid Knani will prove it. Evid Knani is a parasite and it's very nice. The Loika Chotzer Mamoina, the Kakoni Nafshe. We see by Evid Knani that although the Evid Knani did not spend one dime, he doesn't have one dime, and yet he bought his liberty because somebody else paid for his ice cream, somebody else paid for his liberty, and Halacha says that's absolutely fine. The, I, the guy in the ice cream parlor doesn't care if one guy's pay for all 10 friends or each one, right? Very nice. And therefore, and therefore too, very nice. Reuven did not spend a dime. He's relying on his good friend Shimon, and he got the wife. Ay, 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 ay. Now you're going to ask a question, Midami. It's not the same as Ebed Knani. Over there, yeah, the one at least who gave the money, he bought, right? He bought it for himself, and he bought it for the Eved Knaini. Over there, the woman, yeah, she's giving herself. She didn't get anything. In other words, the woman is like the owner of the Eved Knaini. The woman is like the ice cream store owner. There, the ice cream store owner got something. Okay, I got it from Reuven, from Shimon. I own an Eved Knaini. I don't care who pays me for the Eved Knaini, the $10 million is worth, even the Eved Knaini or his nice liberator. But here, the woman, she did not receive anything. She's giving herself for zero, for nothing. We're closing the circle. Yes, we saw by Orev that right? we see by an Orev that even though you did not actually you did not receive anything, you're giving yourself over as an Orev. You're committing to pay the loan, although you got nothing. Same thing by a woman. In Simple sentence, it's a combination of Orev and Eved Knaini. In other words, let's just summarize, it's really not as hard. It's really, really not, uh, it's, 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 it's a simple math over here. A Kenyan can be done without the person, a person can commit to give without receiving anything. That is an Orev. I'm committing myself to give eventually. If you fail to pay your debt, I'll pay instead of you the debt, although I did not get anything. That's the case of Rochel. She did not receive anything in the story. The other story is a person may get something, may receive something, a product such as the liberty of the slave, the ice cream, or the woman. 
without giving anything, somebody else is paying for him, he's parasiting, he's taking a piggyback, and it's fine halachically. And this is, these are the two cases, and the beautiful case is the third case of both cases combined. That's why the weird case is true. Rachel did not receive or give. He obviously should not give. She did not receive. She's an Arif. I, Reuven, the Chosen received that didn't give. Fine, because he's like an Evid Knaini. Evid Knaini gets stuff for free. He got for free. That's simple. Boy, Rove. Now comes Rove with another, with another question. Eilach, one second. Give me a second. Boy, Rove. Boy, Rove. A woman says to a man, here's your money, I'm giving you the ring, I'm giving you the money, and I'll be Mekudosh to you. And then the man has to say the text of what? Arat Mekudosh with the money that you gave me. Would that work? Now, it's not like in the previous case when she said, I'm like an Oreb, she's giving the money. In none of those cases she gave the money, right? Throughout, she was passive, Lamaisa. She said, and she engineered it, she's a big macherte, she didn't give money. Rob is asking now a new question. A woman gave a gift to a man, yeah, a kiddushin, a ring, or a watch, or a drill, whatever excites him, yeah, and what? And she says, you know, I'll be mekudesh to you, and then he has to say, aret mekudesh asli, with the money that I received, mahu. What would be the aloha? We touched upon this case in previous tosas, if you remember. The Gemara the Havamina thinks that this is to do with what? Kinyan Agav. Let's see. Amma Mazuta Mishmeda of Popet. Mikudeshes. No problem. Great. Mikudeshes. Yeah, under the Hupa, she can give him the ring. And he says, Aret Mikudeshes, with the ring that you gave me. How does that work? Amel Ravashi Le Mazuta, Imken, if I get you right, Havle Nechosim Sheyesh Le Machrayus, Niknim Nechosim Sheyen Le Machrayus, which means, What's going on over here? The Havamina was as follows. We thought that just like he received the money, dragged along, Agav is like being dragged along. He received something material, some something materialistic, something valuable, money, ring, watch, drill, right? And along with that, in a way of Kenyan Agav, comes the woman. He buys a new talis, and Agav that also the woman comes along. Yeah. That's what it seems like. Now, a woman is compared to a karka. Why? Because it says, ikach, ikach. A woman, we said, you buy the woman, you acquire the woman, just like Avram bought the piece of land from uh, from Ephron, right? Next week's parsha. So now, so that's according to Rashi. This is a different shot. Lamaisa, human beings in general, human beings in general, no, Rashi says, I'm sorry, that was Toysis. Rashi says, human beings such as Avodim, are compared to what? To Korkois, right? A woman is compared to a karka. Tosis says it's because of the kingdom of Avram. Rashi says in general, Lamai says a woman is like a karka. So now you're telling me something interesting. Nechosim she'en le machrayus, which is what? Metatolin, mobile goods, yeah, movables. You buy them, and they're dragging along after them, behind them, the karka, which is like the woman. You buy the ring, and as they decided, the kingdom who did for the ring, he picked up the ring, he picked up the the watch, the drill, the black and decker, and together with that came the woman is compared to a land. Are you guys happy with that? I'm not. The Gemara is not. We all know that Kin and Agav works just the opposite, the absolute diametrical opposite of that. What's going on over here? Anan Ipchatnan. We learned Ipchen Daftis Davchavov. There's a Mishnah in Ar Masechta, which we learned many times in Bava Basel. We learned it. We learned Bava Metzia. Kin and Agav works the opposite. Nechosim she'en le'machrayas. Meaning what? The chosim they have no liability, which are metaltelin. Niknim im the chosim sheyesh le mechrayes the kesef b'shtar bechazoko. If you buy a piece of land and you will buy many many items besides the piece of land, the piece of land is easy to buy. Kesef b'shtar chazoko, you don't have to move anything. It's done in the office, in the air conditioned office. You don't have to actually lift anything, right? Kesef b'shtar chazoko. Now my example, which I always give, you want to buy a shoe factory with all the shoes inside. I'm not going to start picking up every pair of shoes. I'm going to go crazy, right? LMI, we decide. Again, as we said before, every Kenyan has to be defined before the Kenyan. Let's decide. When I do Chazaka, when I lock the gates of the factory, that's a nice way to do Chazaka. We decided that the same Kenyan that works for the Karka also works for the one t- taking a piggyback, taking a ride, which has a metal to 
You don't have to pick them up. The kinan of the karka works with the metaltolin, right? And we learned that from Pasuk and Divrayomim, that the father of, uh, of a tribe in Eretz Yisrael, he gave them Orim Betsuras by Yehuda with all the gold and silver inside. Yeah, he bequeathed them, he gave them the, 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 the cities with everything that's in them. So excuse me, so excuse me, you're, you're having it absolutely downright wrong, right? He's saying that he gets the ring, yeah, and dragged along. Agav taking a ride is the woman who's like a karka. It's the other way around. You can be kind of maybe a woman on the top of that metal to him, which is also dubious, but definitely not this way. Answer Zigmara. Answer Zigmara. You got it completely wrong, says Rav, says Mazutra to Ravashi. No, no, no. He saw that the Omerle Agav. You think the woman who offered that to the guy, I'll give you something and you will be coin me. You think that the woman told him it's going to work with Agav? No, no, no. Ocho, the Adam Choshuv Askinan. We're talking here about something completely different. This is one specific case which Rav Papa said works, and that is a person of the Choshuv a person. What's a Choshuv a person? It can be all kinds of Choshuv people. In this case, it's a Choshuv a person. Besides his Choshivus, he does not receive gifts. Some people are like that. Yeah. Some Benibrakish people, or it's a good, it's a good thing, not Benibrakish. Uh, some people, especially it's Doko, they don't receive it's Doko, or even other gifts. So this guy is a very snobbish guy when it comes to receiving gifts, okay? And now she gave him a gift. Ooh. From her, he receives a gift. Wow. Ooh. What an honor to who? To her. That's the Chosh of a rabbi. And this rabbi never receives any gifts. Only from Sprint Sabela, our friend, from her he receives the gift. Would a girl pay money for that? Yes, says the Gemara. The Ba'i Hano, the Kamikabel Motonim, you know, with a Hano, what's Hano? With a Hano that she has from the fact that he received the gift from her and not from anybody else. Only from her he's willing to receive a gift. With that enjoyment, that enjoyment, that benefit is worth money. Can you imagine how many views she's going to get in the social media? Billions, yeah? She is the one that Adam Khashiv, yeah, received the gift from, not from anybody else. That's worth big money. With that Hana, Gomra Umaknelia Nafsha. And with that Hana, she's willing to give herself over. In other words, she got something. She got something. He got the gift. He got the drill. He got the Sefer Koidesh. Very nice. She got the Hana. Of him receiving it from her. Mimela, we say that she's the one who actually received something, something spiritual, but worth money. People pay money for many things that are esoteric. People go to counseling, people go to listen to musicians, you go to all kinds of things that are not real, you know, tangible goods, and you pay for it, right? Same thing over here. But that Chosh of a star to receive the gift from her on stage, woohoo, then of course she would get, she gets a lot from that. And with that is what she received for the Kiddushin. And that's why Takit works. Fighter. Now we're going to see. Now we're going to see. Uh, go back to Rava with the cases of before. Let's just refresh our memories. What did we say about the woman and the two men? There was a situation in which the woman doesn't receive anything and she gives herself over like an orb. There is a case in which what the Chosan didn't give. Shimon, his friend, gave her money. And Reuben taking a piggyback, and she becomes his wife, like an Evid Kneini. And then we had the case, to combined both, right? The Chosen received money from another man, and she was the willing partner, and she's nicknamed to him, right? Combining both together. Itmar nami mishmei derove. Bechem le'inyan mamoyno, three simple words. Rav says, the same thing we said about a woman applies to regular money, regular monetary business. Let's say you have a field, Right? The same rule would apply. Same rule. In other words, I want to buy the field from you. Then, first of all, I can say, Tzvi, I want to buy your field. You have a field in uh, South Dakota, I decided now. Right? I want to buy your field. And you say, Akiva, instead of giving me the money, you say, I'll give the money to Alan. It works, right? You're looking at Orev. You're giving me the field, although I give the money to another person, right? Or there could be yeah, that instead of me giving you the money, I tell Elel, and then you give the money to Tzvi, and I'll be the owner. As long as we all agree, it's fine. And then comes the craziest case of what? Of you giving him the money, and then the field becomes mine. And it's all good. It's all combinations of Arv and Evan Knaini, all nice. But Rav said, 
that not only it applies to a woman's kiddushin, those that funny triangle exactly the same way works with a field. Switch the word woman to the word field or anything else that's linked with money, which is, I don't know, avodim, things, yeah? Then it works. Frek the Gemara v'tzriche, or states the Gemara. Why did Rava have to tell me that that tricky business of Evid Knani and Orev, why did Rava have to specify that it works both by a woman and by a field? Why wouldn't have I derived it myself? Well, I would have figured out myself. Well, no, a woman is nicknamed more or less like a field. Why, why do you have to tell me that those, you know, Kinyonim, that triangle of a Kinyan, works by a woman, and then Rava, who's an Amoira, is not, a, not writing for idiot, yeah? So Rava is taking his time to tell me that it also works by money and also by woman. Why do you need to mention it by both? Why can't you just, you know, just, uh, explain, uh, figure it out yourself? Says the Gemara. Diashmin and Kiddushin, I would have said, we all understand that this is funny, right? The woman didn't get anything. She's enjoying the fact that Reuven gave the ring to Shimon. She he gave the money to Shimon. And that enjoyment is strong enough to commit her. It's a Kiddush. But she, at the end of the day, doesn't have anything in her hands. Can she come, uh, I don't know, one day later and says, I really didn't want it? She can't. She can't. We say, once you decide that Reuben will give Shimon and you're a happy camper, you're happy, uh, 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 you're happy uh, partner in the story, you're Mekodesh. Oh, says the Gemara, I would have been Mechadish that. Yes, when in Kiddushin, had Rova only told me that about Kiddushin, Yushimda, a woman is happy, generally speaking, with any kind of men. I mean, within limit, Alamai said women are are not as picky when it comes to choosing their chosen. I think today may be changed, but that's the rule that the Gemara says, Kedere Shlakish. Says Shlakish, Domar Shlakish, Tav Lemetav Tandu, Melmetav Armelu. It's better to sit Tandu with two people, two bodies together, than sitting Armelu like an Almana for my entire life. The girl wants a Shidduch, she's pressed for time, she's already very old, 17 and a half. In some societies, yeah, yalla, whoever comes. In other words, the woman may be less picky on whoever she wants to marry, and therefore she may come to that concession and say, even though I didn't get anything, yalla, you know, don't give me the ring already. Give it to him, Aker, I want to be married already. Aval memoy, no, a maloy. When it comes to money, oh, to sell my field, da, da, da. who says I'm selling my field so quickly? And even if I, yeah, let's say you want to sell the field, and you say that instead of me, the buyer, giving the money to you for your field, I'm giving it to somebody else, you can claim, I wasn't serious about that, Mafitom. You thought I'm really serious? I'm selling my field and I'm not receiving the money? One would argue and say, you can't automatically derive from a woman to a field. Because it comes to fields, people are more difficult than a woman giving herself. As Havamina, Tamash Malan, that by field we do say that. I so why don't you only say it by field? If you tell me about money, at the end of the day, yeah, field can be given for free. <laughs> Obviously, it's so, so simple. Had you only told me by field, Rova, I would have said, wait a second. Of course, Svi is such a nice guy. He says, okay, I'm giving my field for free to Akiva, and Akiva will give the money to somebody else, uh, Sdoko, to me and to other people. Very nice. A field you can give for free. So you can also play all kinds of shtick. It's up to you. Nobody forces you to get money. You can give your $100 million mansion for free if you want to. So obviously, you can also play games and say, okay, I'm not receiving anything. I wanted to give it to somebody else. Aval Kiddushin, Eima, Loi. Kiddushin, she can't decide, I'm yours for nothing. Oh, let's just skip all this religious you know, ceremony. Let's just decide I'm married to you, right? Without getting any money. Can't do that. A woman can't be moichel on the money and just becomes the man's, yet belonging to the man. For nothing, there is no such thing. Yeah. So how many would be that we don't care what you think, lady. You cannot be married without receiving anything. And the fact that Reuben gave Shimon, right? Or Shimon gave Reuben, but you didn't get anything. Maybe that's Trefa Kiddushin. It's not Kiddushin. Sricha Kamash Malanda. The fact that she received the Hano of what of Reuben given Shimon like an Oreb, she decided. Yeah, that's what I'm happy with. I'm happy with Reuben, my fiance giving it to Shimon, my needy cousin, my, I don't know, my classmate, I don't know. And that makes her happy. It's a Kiddush. She didn't get anything real, Bechlal. And it's not even called, I know, like uh, listening to a singer or giving a gift to a big star. It's worse than that. And yet it works. That's why we had to mention both cases of Orev by a woman 
and buy money. Again, why? Buy a woman, it's a chiddush, it's a big chiddush, a woman didn't get anything. And a woman has to get something. Kamashman, Orev, is called getting, that's called receiving if somebody else got, and she's happy, it's kilo she got, it's a chiddush. Buy money, you can do whatever you want, you can give for free your entire, all your assets. Ah, let's say it's only by a woman, no. By a woman, I would say, a woman is easy to just get along with the kiddush, and she wants to be married already. Okay, don't give me the ring, give it to Shimon, I just want to be married. The shaken by a field, <laughs> People, the two businessmen, the two buyer and seller, you know, people buy and sell houses. Uh, hot barzel. <laughs> Conditions and uh, and uh, lawyers and this. Uh, I'm giving for free. I was joking. You really thought I'm giving my apartment for free and he's going to give it to another person? Obviously, well, oh, Kamash Malan, yes. If the person really committed to give up his asset in order for another person, for the buyer to give it to another party, it does work. But Rob had to mention it in both cases. Uh, questions from the, he was first and then you, and then we will say goodbye soon. Yeah. Welcome to everybody over here. May we all have Simcha Ubrocha. We're exactly up to the first wide line. Tomorrow, tomorrow. What are we going to see tomorrow? Can you be Mekadesh half a woman? I can half a man be Mekadesh woman? Yes or no? That's going to be very interesting. Stay with us. Stay tuned. And thank you to everybody here in Ava Shalom, such a beautiful full room of quality, amazing people like all of you. And thank you to people on Torah Anytime and our YouTube channel. Thanks. I and mean, we have a very, very peaceful day. And the next siren will be the Shoifer of Mashiach. Bracha um,